All right, gentlemen, I've brought you both here today to discuss my latest venture. As you both know, I've been on YouTube for over a year and I'm not going anywhere fast. Times are hard, so we need to change this strategy. While Make It Big on YouTube was a great life goal, big thank you to Wesley, by the way, for an awesome idea. You're welcome. We need something a little bit more lucrative. And that's why, gentlemen, I have for you the ski. Warning! No matter how good the following plan sounds, please do not try and execute it yourself. This may or may not be completely legal or safe. Not sure, depends on the episode. I realize warnings make you want to do things more, so... Yeah. Two things that rise in cost but never go down. Gas, cigarettes. At first I was thinking we could steal oil from BP, but then I realized we couldn't possibly carry all that oil. So the three of us are going to become cigarette smugglers. Cool. Yeah, I know. This plan will take two to three weeks. Everyone's smoking. Rich people. Poor people. Sick people. Families. Hell, even babies. Week one, investment capital. First thing we need to do is collect bottles. Not just any bottles, just the ones that can be deposited for a dime in Michigan. Now, between the three of us, we have to collect 10,000 bottles each. That shouldn't be that hard. Now that's $500 here in New York, but in Michigan, that's $1,000. So we're gonna have to drive out. Um, Joshin? Do not interrupt me until the plan is complete. Week two, the business strategy. In New York, cigarettes are $11.90 per pack. There are 10 packs in a carton, which is $111.90 per carton. In West Virginia, cigarettes are $4.74 a pack. So one carton is $40.74. That's a profit of $71.16 per carton, which gives us the motivation needed to head right into week three, execution. We'll stealthily walk into the grocery store, we'll buy 18 cartons of cigarettes, and we'll have just enough money to get back to New York from West Virginia. And that includes the $4 for Pop-Tarts. Any questions? Look, this plan won't work. One, it's riddled with driving and you don't drive. Two, how are you supposed to transport 10,000 bottles plus the three of us to Michigan in one car? Three, when you come back, you're going to sell the cigarettes for $11.90. That's retail. Why would anybody buy retail cigarettes from you when they could just go to the store and pay the same price? Look. We don't need this. We're just figments of your imagination anyway. Come on, let's go. 